Hey guys, welcome back. I'm the Gamer and All of Us, and today we are going to play some Freddy Fish, the case of stolen conch shell. I actually, give me, give me like five seconds, five seconds. Oh no, never mind. I was close. I ended up finding this at the thrift store. Like, almost brand new in the box. It's very rare to find big boxes of these games. But this is completely different than what we're going to be playing. <laughs> I don't know if I've actually played this one or not. But I know we haven't played this. Anyway, I thought we'd change it up since, you know, the next game is going to be Spongebob. And just give it a little bit of break of uh, PS2 games right now. So I thought we'd just do this instead. <sighs> How are you enjoying the flight on Pelican Fam Airlines, Freddy? A lot, Sam. Gosh, Luther, it was really great of your Uncle Blenny to invite us to the Founders Day Festival. <laughs> well, Uncle Blenny says that I'm his favorite nephew. And you know I never take a special trip like this without my best friend, Freddy Fish. I don't think I've played this one. This seems... No. I really haven't played too many of the Freddy Fish games. It's usually Spy Fox and Pajama Sam. Oh, how cute. Oh. Smooth landing. Luther. Thanks for the look, Sam. Have a good time. Will do, Sam. What is this, Sam? There will be visitors from around the world at the Founders Day Festival. That foreign language phrase book could really come in handy. Right as rain, Freddy, it's all yours. As soon as you give me one R and C or Jeanette is. You greedy, greedy pelican. Ooh, what is that? Already starting off with something. That looks like something expensive. Oh. Yikes. Never mind. I almost lost a pin. <sighs> I'm not trying that again. No, we not ain't. Without something to keep that clam from snapping shut. Got it. Okay, what is this? Hmm. I wonder what will happen if I pull this plug. Pull it, girl. Say, it's the only... I knew you could pull it up. Way we can go through. Oh, can we take this? Yep. I'd better hold on to that. You just never know when a drain plug might come in handy. Yeah. It will come in handy. I'm sorry, is somebody in jail? Over here! Uncle Glenny? Is he in jail? Oh my god. Uncle Glenny, what are you doing in jail? <sighs> well, Luther, the great conch shell was stolen. The Founders Day Festival can't start without it. Since I'm the grand exalted keeper of the conch, I'm the prime suspect. Oh, that's crappy. But I didn't do it. Here, here's a diagram of the conch shell before it was taken. The priceless conch had three golden pipes, oh. but they may have fallen out. And here's a picture of all the people who were nearby when the crime happened. There's Gil Barker, Claw, I bet it was him. Nadine the Narwhal, Rosie Pearl, Pierre the Tailor, and Horse Fetters the Tourist. Can't your dog fish sniff out <gasps> Old soggy sniffer ain't what it used to be. But if he can get the three golden pipes, he can pick up the scent. We'll find the three golden pipes, Uncle Blenny. You're my only hope, nephew. <laughs> you and your friend, Freddy Fish. Yep. Can we have some coffee and some donuts? <laughs> oh! What 
in the holy crap. Okay. I don't know if that's useful, but that was entertaining. Hey, was that pajama and Sam? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 that was, uh. Oh my god, why am I blanking? That's. Oh my god, what the fudge is wrong with me? Why am I blanking? Why? Freaking putt putt, you dumb dumb. <sighs> How did I forget that? It's putt putt in the background. I didn't. God, I bought, I bought the copy off of um, eBay. Somebody was selling the big box actually for a reasonable price of $13. I'm like, ooh, of course I'm gonna take it. What is this? Seems important. No, okay. Excuse me, sir, but are you a tailor? Not just a tailor. I am Pierre the tailor. And Pierre men's himself better than new. So if something was torn into a million billion teensy little pieces, could you mend it together? Be sure. With my eyes closed, floating on my head, and with both fins tied behind my back. Mousers. I do not have Time for the rubber knickers. Huh? I haven't worn rubber knickers since I was a baby. Luther, he said rubber knickers, not rubber knickers. Oops, silly me. Okay. Felt like that was something rude. I don't know. I feel like he would be a rubber knicker. Not, not us. <gasps> I spy with my little eye something beginning with a P. Can you guess what it is? Uh... Hmm. It's a purple sea urchin. Hey. Work, Luther. Okay, actually, he wanted one, so we're gonna. Give him one for the book because I feel like we would probably need that soonish. Could have just like let us borrow it. Be such a freaking jerk about it. Pelican Sam only likes orange sea urchins. Okay, sorry, my bad. I'm not good with colors. I forgot you needed orange. I didn't realize there was orange. I thought it was just purple. Maybe I should actually listen for once. Okay, well, uh, we need an orange one. <gasps> can, we, can we dye them? Is that what's gonna happen? Can we just like dye them different colors? We'll do. Okay. Um, go this way. Is that another? Yeah, I see you. Look, a purple, purple one. Freddy, how come there are no pink polka dotted sea urchins? But there are. They live in the secret sea. Where everything is pink and polka dotted. You just made that yeah, up, she did. didn't you? Uh huh. I was gonna say. Look, Freddy, there's something behind that waterfall. Yeah, I saw it too. <laughs> Can they not? 
the wind out of me. Me too. We're just gonna have to find another way to get to that waterfall. <laughs> oh, I didn't think it was gonna be that hard to do. But never mind. Okay, um, guessing this way. Oh my god, my nose. Oh, I see that. We're gonna pick that up. No. Hey, Luther! Do you see what I see? Girl, where's the orange ones? What does this monkey need? What do you need? Fish come in so many beautiful colors. That's one of the things that makes each of us so special. By the way, name's Magenta. I'm Luther, and this is Freddy Fish. What's your color? What do you do? The chocolate ones, Aiden. I can see we won't be getting together for dinner anytime soon. I don't think so either. Hey, okay. What was the point of okay. Don't know the point of that area yet, but uh I don't think there's a point. Hey you is that a random plane in the bucket? Ah. Uh, Mr. Church, sir. I think we're going to have yep. to figure out how we can talk to each other. Well, hmm. Wait, we can go down? Oh, we can go over. Holy crap. Look, Freddy, it's a snowboopy pop. No, it's not. It's a purple sea urchin. Is that like somebody's wallet? That, I just like to say, snowboopy pop. Snowboopy pop. Snowboopy pop. Snowboopy pop. <laughs> what is that? Hey, look. There are loads of orange sea urchins in this wallet. No, Luther, we have to return that. Well, it doesn't belong to us, Luther. According to this identification card, it belongs to someone who used to be the grand exalted keeper of the conch. I'll hold on to it until we can find the owner. Go down here? Oh! Hey, get out of the bullies club! Why? A few months ago? I couldn't even spell bully. Now I am a bully. Still can't spell it, though. I don't think that being a bully is a good thing at no. all. Well, look at what we got here. A little green squirt and little goody two fins. Hey, I have more than two fins. Okay. Doesn't seem like anything important either. Nope. Okay. Okay, the Grand Keeper. It sounds like the, the, the guy. It's uncle or whatever. Is this yours? See, I had a feeling. You're doing such a good job helping me. Please take an orange sea urchin for your trouble. Girl, give us like one each. You know, I feel like that'd be. Yes, yeah, I was gonna say. Luther, say thank you. Thank you, Uncle Blenny. Yeah, you should give us like two, one each. Because he technically wanted to keep all of them, which we should have. Like, oopsie, they all fell out into my pocket. Okay. Okay, now we have an orange one. Where are these like are these worth more or something? How would you like to 
sell that foreign language phrase book for one orange sea urchin, Sam. I'd rather get a snack, but an orange sea urchin will do. Dude, you told me this is what you wanted, so... No taxi backsies Thanks a lot, Sam. We'll put this to good use. Also, I'm so surprised they didn't use, like, Putt-Putt Goes to the Race, like, in this. They chose, like, Saves the Zoo and then, you know... Goes in time, which I've never played like back in time or the whatever it's called. But I'm surprised. Come on, like Papa goes to the race is so good. <laughs> and I'm surprised they only have one game of Freddy the Fish. I don't know. Expecting a lot for this. Freddy, I can't understand a word that foreign tourist is saying. Maybe we can find the language he's speaking in this foreign language phrase book. I wonder if this foreign language phrase book could help us talk to this foreign tourist. May we please have the Shim Sham Jimmy Jam Clapper Gapper that's in your bag? I guess that wasn't his language. How are we... How are we sister? Oh, it matches his bag! Okay, that makes more freaking sense. I was gonna say, like... Are we gonna have to play with around with all the... Jesus Christ, and he's... May we please have the Shim Sham Jimity Jam Clapper Gapper that's in your bag? So, the Shim Sham Jimity Jam Clapper Gapper that's been giving horse feather so much trouble is what you want? I'd be glad to give you to it. Oh, well, we don't even need the book anymore. We're done with it. Um, do we use that to open that shell out there? Just gonna... Maybe, like, baby? Okay, well, the headphones are coming out. It's not like I need them. Uh, A shim sham jimmy jam clapper gapper will keep that clam from snapping shut. Okay, Luther, I'm gonna need your help. Righto, Freddy! <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> I got a golden pipe! Did you? I don't care what anyone else says, you're a good fish. <laughs> That's what my boss now says, like all the time, about my other boss. I don't care what she says about you, Aiden, but you're a good worker, you know. <laughs> Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. What the fudge? Gee, I wonder how many golden pipes. Just Freddy one. You're lucky now. I'm doing something. I sure hope you're right. Oh. <sighs> At least I'm doing something. Okay. Oh, you shitty mother effer. Step right up, gills and buoy, for the most amazing carnival under the sea. You remember the terrific tumble tube ride last year? Well, what we've got in store for you this year is even better. <laughs> Tired of going belly up at parties? Is scorn the only thing you spawn? Well, don't get in a snit when you can score a hit here at Gil Barker's Floating Pond. If you've got four purple sea urchins, just fork over the dough and in you go. You'll come out a winner or my name isn't Broccoli Bob. Okay. But your name isn't Broccoli Bob. Don't bother me with details, son. Well, I guess you're gonna take all of them. Here's a purple sea urchin. 
Do I have to literally hand every single one of them to him? That's just one purple sea urchin. I need three more before you guys get through the door. I know, I know, I know, I know. Five seconds. Another purple sea urchin for you. If I could just like gather them all in my hand. Purple sea urchin number two, but that ain't gonna do. Two purple sea urchins more bring the total to four. Ooh, ram in there. Here's another purple sea urchin. That's three purple sea urchins, and I'm one away from having enough to let you play. Yeah, here's the last one. Here's our last purple sea urchin. Four purple sea urchins for precisely the price of admission. Thank and you. fortunately for you, too, we're having a special. For every little yellow fish that pays admission, a little green fish gets in absolutely free. Boy, did I ever hit this on the right day. There's probably like two urchins to get in, and you just wouldn't 